In this short video, I'm going to show you how to correct color artifacting in Darktable. Sometimes when you're taking photos in low light and you have a color that's very saturated and you begin to edit, you might end up with some color artifacting. I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, this is something that commonly happens uh, with very uh, bright blue objects or really saturated ones. So I'm going to zoom in uh, close in on this um, football jersey here. You can see it's very blue. And right now, I mean, obviously this, this photo needs a lot of work. You can see all that color noise in there. Um, it's not a great image. It's taken in very poor lighting conditions. But watch what happens when I go to the tone group and I select the tone curve and I turn it on. I'm not even going to make any adjustments. I'm just going to turn it on and look at the jersey. That's some extreme color artifacting. Now it might not look this bad uh, in your photos. This is uh, or just a really great example to show it off just how extreme this can be. Um, and you'll see it's in the lab color space. You can see the luminance, the A and B channel. Now if I went to any other module that's in the lab color space, I'm going to get the same thing happening. So instead of avoiding it, uh, avoiding all the modules in the lab color space, um, you can actually correct this. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm just going to take a snapshot so I can compare it. And I'm going to go over to the color group. I'm going to come down to input color profile. And look at the second option there, gamut clipping. So right now it's off. And I'm just going to choose the first option, sRGB. Now already that's a major improvement. It's really cleaned up a lot of that artifacting or most of it. And for some people it might be enough and you can carry on. Now you actually have other options here and the difference is is Adobe RGB and Linear Rec 2020 um, they have a wider color gamut and when you enable this um, you're actually losing a bit of information because you're limiting the saturation of this color. Um, so I would actually recommend starting off with Adobe RGB or Linear Rec 2020 and I'm just going to turn on Adobe RGB and you can see it fixes it even further. It gets rid of more art color artifacting and actually this blue is closer to the actual blue of the sweater um, or jersey uh, than the sRGB. Um, so that's really it. Um, you know, I'll just again, I can compare that before and after, and man, that's a very extreme uh, example of that. Um, but a lot of people I've seen that come up on forums, they're not too sure how to fix that, and it's actually a quick and easy fix. Um, I also wanted to point out, you may see these little red dots and think that it didn't correct those. And that's actually something different. Those are they're, uh, hot pixels. You could just go over to your correction group, turn that on, and, and get rid of those there. Uh, but something to keep an eye out for, uh, low light situations, really saturated colors, specifically blues, uh, you may end up with some color artifacting, and now you know how to fix it. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.